take payments for phone orders and deliveries, run authorizations and verifications, or send invoices with just a web browser and internet connection through Clover's virtual terminal. We'll set account security preferences before getting started. Log in to the web dashboard and, under Account and Setup, select Two-Factor Authentication to add an extra layer of security to your account. Two-Factor Authentication is also required to issue refunds. Next, select the type of authentication you prefer, whether with an app or text message, and follow the prompts to finish setup. Now log into the web dashboard and select Virtual Terminal. First-time users will need to activate location sharing to further protect your account from unauthorized access. For payments in Virtual Terminal, select Take Payment and Sale from the Transaction Type dropdown. Enter the total order amount and check the Modo box for a mail or phone order. More options include adding a tip, convenience fee, or tax. You can also add order notes if needed. Search for the customer in the Search Customers bar, or in the Payment Info section, key in the payment card information. You can save the card on file for future use with the customer's approval. They can opt out later through their email confirmation or receipt. Next, add customer info. If you've chosen to save a customer's card on file, you'll be required to enter their email address here. When finished, click Charge. Last, send your customer an email receipt. An authorization holds a specific amount on a customer's payment card until you convert it to a sale. To create an authorization, select Take Payment and Authorization. Enter the amount and payment information and add customer detail, or use the search bar if the card is on file. Then select Create Authorization and send an email receipt. To void or convert the authorization to a sale, from the web dashboard menu, select Transactions and Authorizations. Select the authorization to either complete the transaction, void it, or send a receipt. To verify that a card is active and valid in Virtual Terminal, select Take Payment and Verification. Enter the payment information and Complete Verification. To send an invoice for payment, select Send Invoice and enter the amount in the Total field. Add any order notes and the customer's information, including email address. Last, send invoice. Your customer will receive an email with details about their purchase and a pay button that allows them to go online to pay the invoice. Both you and your customer will receive a payment confirmation email and the payment will show up in your orders on the web dashboard. To issue a virtual terminal refund, Go to Transactions, then Payments. Find the payment you would like to refund and select Details. Click Refund, then Yes. Allow employees to refund virtual terminal transactions by going to Employees, then Permissions, and Access Transactions. Here, you can enable the Refund Payments permission for their employee role. To learn more, visit clover.com slash help.